Hi, uh, I'm Alex Jury. I'm 29 years old from London, UK. I came to Hair of Istanbul in the end of February 2022. I've wanted to do something about my hair for quite a while and it got to the point where it was either shave it all off and admit I'm going bald or get a hair transplant and it's something that I wanted to do for probably a few years now. A day after just having my hair transplant, I'm already starting to recover, already on the antibiotics and uh, yeah, looking, looking forward to seeing the results. Yeah, that's, um, I think that was the hardest thing when I was thinking about it. It was where can I go somewhere that I knew that could be trustworthy, where I'd get a good service, because obviously I think it, it is quite a daunting thought to actually go through with it and commit to getting the surgery done. For me, I had a friend that came here a couple of summers ago who also had a hair transplant. So I saw firsthand the res well, I saw firsthand the results on the day that he got back to the UK, and I've also seen his you know results over time, and I've seen how it's changed his self confidence and the way he views himself, and I think after seeing the results for myself and then also speaking to him about the service that Hair of Istanbul tried, it wasn't even a case for me to even entertain anywhere else um, because it was a well-known clinic, uh, a friend that had done it already um, and seeing his results and also his feedback about the service as well, it made it a no-brainer for me because I think, like I said, it is still really daunting and the fact that Hair of Istanbul offer a really good service and make everyone feel comfortable and answer any questions and have the translator and it's all from the very start, as soon as you land, having someone pick you up, talk you through your schedule, you know, basically do absolutely everything for you. So it completely puts your mind at ease as well. Yeah, I think it's, um, I think for me personally, it got to the point where it was becoming a real chore to try and hide my hairline. Um, it was something I was incredibly self-conscious about as well. Luckily, I've got a really good group of friends and we just take the mick out of each other for all of our <laughs> imperfections, I guess. So, but at the same time, it was starting to become a bit of a burden. It sounds ridiculous, maybe not, but simple things like going out on a windy day without a hat or a hoodie, I'd be really self-conscious walking around in public. Um, so I think that was the changer for me. It wasn't just a case that I was starting to recede or starting to thin a little bit. I would see some pictures of myself and, you know, I'm a short guy with a big forehead, so <laughs> the combination of a short guy, a big forehead and a receding hairline with quite thin hair anyway, it just wasn't a good look at all. So I think that was the thing for me where I thought, right, either do something about it or shave it off one or the other. And, you know, I had money aside. It's something that I wanted to do. So, yeah, I just went for it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a little surreal because obviously the owner came down, so I met him along with the other team and that probably gives you a little bit more confidence as well if the owner's coming down, drawing on hairline, measuring everything out, talking about it to his team. And like I said, they really took their time over it and was doing a lot of detail. <laughs> Another thing I think that gave me a little bit more confidence as well is um, they asked me to move my eyebrows up and down. So the reason behind that was, you know, if you get your hairline too low, <laughs> and every time you make an expression, your hair's moving up and down, it's going to look like a bit of a botch job. Um, and I think the one thing for me as well is, yes, I'm getting a hair transplant and I've been very open to my friends and family about it. Um, but I also wanted it to be as realistic as possible. So the fact that they asked me those questions, what I was looking to get out of it, took everything into practice. Um, and like I said, were explaining to me the process of them doing it. They didn't just randomly come in and just draw a line on my head and go, that will do. Um, I think that was, uh, I think that was very reassuring as well. Yeah, I, th I mean, look, I think if we try and get this treatment done in the UK, it's, it's considerably more, um, obviously, but I think in terms of coming over to Turkey, money wasn't the main priority, if I'm honest. I was in a fortunate position that I saved up um, quite a bit of money that was just sitting in the bank account. So I think definitely for me, quality was the most important thing. Because like I said, it, in, in my opinion anyway, I think trying to get, I, I always believe in if you buy cheap, you buy twice. And I think something as important as a hairline uh, or a hair transplant, quality takes the precedent over price. Having said that, I think the package I was offered was for everything, the hair transplant, the hotel, 
the translators, the hospitality. I, I think it's really, really competitive what they're offering. Um, so for me, you know, quality was definitely the, the most important thing for me, but we got that. The price was just a bonus as well. So again, having a friend that had it done, he obviously explained a little bit to me about the procedure. My understanding is obviously they take um, grafts from traditionally, it will usually be the back or the sides of the head and then put it at the front. So I knew the basic principles of it, but when I first inquired to Hair of Istanbul about it, they sent through quite a bit of information about the procedure, recovery time, side effects, everything. Um, not, not just the positive as well. And I think, again, that was a bit reassuring because it's like anything. If you go to buy a car and they only tell you about the good stuff, you go, okay, well, what's the catch here? They were very transparent about, you know, swelling, everything else like that. They talked you through sort of the process and procedure, all while, you know, giving you that reassurance that these are professionals, they know what they're doing as well. So, um, yeah, the, the extra information, again, for me, just gave me that confidence that I was making the right choice. I, I think maybe compared to 10 years ago, um, it's a lot more, it's spoken a lot more openly, men getting hair transplants. Um, I know three or four people off the top of my head that have had one done. For me, it got to the point where I said, my hair's getting to the point where it's looking ridiculous. Either shave it or get it done. Now, if you've got the money aside and you can afford it, I 100% would recommend this place. I've seen the difference it's made to my friend who had his done. And for me, the confidence that I'm gonna get when you know the recovery phase starts and then when I'm fully healed, I'm really looking forward to it because it's, you know, any guys out there losing their hair, it is a very personal thing. And without overselling it, I'm confident this is probably gonna be one of the best things I've done. So yeah, if, if you've got the money and you can afford it, I know there's sort of the hesitations potentially about going abroad, what's the service like and everything else like that. Without overselling it, would have done this earlier had I known, you know, the process, everything that's involved. Like I said, the, the, the aftercare, everything.